Jump 2017 chemistry question number 11 is what we're looking at. The number of isomers of C5H12 is C5H12 is simply pentane, which is a member of the alkane family. And pentane has the following isomers. Before we get here, let us quickly look at what isomers are. These are simply compounds having the same molecular formula but different structural formulas. So for pentane, it has the normal straight chain pentane, which is n-pentane. We also have an isomer of pentane, which is 2-methylbutane with a carbon atom attached or joined onto three other carbon atoms. And we have the last isomer here, 2,2-dimethylpropane, which has a central carbon atom joined onto four other carbon atoms. So if we get back to our options, it is obvious from the explanation that the correct option or answer is option B, which is three isomers. JAM 2017 chemistry exams, question number 12 is what we're looking at. A radioactive element when one kg has a half-life of 1,000 years. What would be its mass in grams in 3,000 years? The correct answer to this question is option A, which is 125 G of the original value. So let us look at how we got that. So the total time in years is 3,000 years, and that is equal to three half-lives, or half-lives rather. So for the first half-life, we're going to be having 500 of the original value, which was um, 1,000. And for the second half-life, we have 250 of 1,000 left. And for third half-life, we have 125 of the original value left. So that simply corresponds to option A, the equation above. Question number 13 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams is what we're looking at. The derivative of benzene that can be used in making explosives is, we have several options uh, from option A to D. But the first thing I want us to know is, this is a question on organic chemistry. And benzene is a six carbon compound and belongs to aromatic hydrocarbons and has a ring form. So you can see that down here. This is how benzene looks like. So you can see the six carbon atoms and its derivatives are ethyl benzene and phenol. Phenol is a derivative of benzene that can be used in making explosives. So, the correct answer to this question is option C, which is phenol. Question 15 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams is what we're looking at. Which of the following is used for preserving food? We are given four options here. The correct answer to this question is option C, which is ethanoic acid. So, let's quickly look at how ethanoic acid is used in preserving our food. So we have that ethanoic acid, which is also known as acetic acid, simply has this molecular formula of CH3COOH. And ethanoic acid is very acidic, having a pH of less than 4. And because of this reason, it inhibits bacterial growth and food. So, this goes a long way to betray the fact that ethanoic acid is used in preserving food. Question 16 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams is what we're looking at. The gas liberated during the alkaline hydrolysis of amides is, I want us to look at this. Alkaline hydrolysis is technically a reaction that yields ammonia gas as a product. So, using alkaline hydrolysis to test for amides, if we add sodium hydroxide to an unknown compound, we're going to be having ammonia gas as a product. And so, if you go back to our options, option D is the correct answer. Question number 18 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams is what we're looking at. The compound that serves as an oxidizing and reducing agent in chemical reaction is? The correct answer to this question is option C, which is water. 
In the presence of a strong oxidizing agent, water becomes a reducing agent. And in the presence of a strong reducing agent, water becomes an oxidizing agent. Probably because of the presence of hydrogen and oxygen. Question 19 of the JAM 2017 chemistry exams is what we are looking at. A metal that will react with steam to liberate hydrogen gases. The correct answer to this question is option D, which is iron. Look at the equation below. Iron reacts with steam. You simply have hydrogen gas as a product.